What are the ways to actually make money in the stock market? So many people ask me this and I'm gonna answer it. So obviously most people lose money in the market. Um, different academic studies say between 90 and 95% of all traders. So get excited with that number, right? But how do you actually become part of the five or 10% of people who do make money? Uh, number one, you need strategy, okay? You're not just guessing on good or bad companies. You're not investing based on your gut. I use my gut to eat vast amounts of sushi, uh, vast amounts of food. That's what your gut should be used for, not for picking stocks. Two, you need rules and discipline. That's what I teach. Uh, you can't just go into a stock with no plan. You can't just say, oh, I want to buy this stock. I'm gonna do well. What if the stock doesn't go your way? What rules do you have in place? What discipline do you have in place to prepare yourself if the stock doesn't do what you expect? Remember, most people lose money. So you need that planning. You need to think what if before you risk your hard earned money. Um, and thirdly, I think you need mainly just good patterns. Um, everything that I do is based off pattern recognition. A lot of people ask me, do you have to be intelligent? Do you have to be really smart? Do you have to be good at math? And I say, no, no, no. You have to be good at pattern recognition. What I teach are patterns. Um, I don't want you just memorizing them because patterns sometimes change and there are variations. But if you understand the patterns from the past can become the patterns in the future. They're very similar. And I want you learning why a stock is moving. You know, what kind of news moves a stock? Is it good earnings? Is it a contract with a bigger company? Is it in a hot sector like Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or marijuana? Um, if the stock is breaking out on an intraday basis, a one month basis, three months, six months, one year, is it a technical breakout that's gonna alert traders? Um, that's gonna create some momentum. Is the president maybe buying shares so there's insider buying um, and you know he or she obviously has confidence in the company. Do they have a new product coming out? Are they in a hot sector where you know uh, a rising tide lifts all boats? These are the things to consider. And it's not just based on one or two indicators. Too many people buy stocks. They're like, oh, this company has good news or this company has a good product. And they're so simplistic. They think like fucking cavemen. Cavemen don't make good stock traders. No, no, they're extinct. They're gone. So easy a caveman can do it. No, that's not fucking true. Cavemen can't trade stocks. You need to think about multiple uh, catalysts, multiple indicators before you risk your hard earned money. So what do you actually do to make money? You have to study, you have to prepare, you have to plan. It's not fun becoming a millionaire. It's not fun strategizing. It takes a lot of studying. That's why I have video lessons and DVDs and webinars and my top students give webinars and they have DVDs. It's all about going in with a plan. You can never over prepare in the stock market. You can easily under prepare and that's what most people do. So your job is to study up. If you know nothing right now or if you know very little, guess what? You've been missing out on years and decades of this stuff. So you're playing catch up. That is your job. How much can you study? How dedicated of a student will you be? Then, once you have enough knowledge, can then you focus on making money. You're not gonna make consistent profits until you have a foundation of knowledge. So that's what I'm here for. Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.